all right people so it is what you all have been waiting for this is the 2016 revived version of super Rassy bell so uh it may have always around beatrice of course it's not the tcg so it'll be a while before i'll be able to make this deck in real life but for right now i think this is pretty much the definitive version of super Rassy bell uh since the deck just keeps on getting hit over and over again with a lot of chain getting banned and with uh you know rota going down to one this deck just seems like it's been struggling to send the monster that it needs but with uh, the inclusion of Beatrice, uh, the plays are still there, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to uh, do some actual decent plays with Supervise, who's just been struggling as of late, it really has. So I'm going to go ahead and give you the deck profile now, and then uh, this upcoming Saturday we can go ahead and play it on the live stream, and hopefully do well. Even uh, me and Mal have been playing testing it for weeks now, and uh, we think that this is the definitive version, this is the version uh, that is the most consistent, that's been doing the best, and uh, the most practical play. So I'm just going to go over the deck profile, tell you about all the cards, why all the tech choices and all of that. Uh, you guys can go ahead and take it, make it, play test it, and if you guys have any suggestions, you can go ahead and tell me in the comment section below. So, starting it off, of course, we have one of Ichi Bell. Uh, number generator sucks drawing them, but hey, it's better than running multiple. You really don't need multiples of Ichi Bell. Uh, while Ichi Bell is important in this deck, it's not too important, so, uh, but it's still there. Of course, it's Ichi Bell deck, so one of each, that's all you need. One Doom Shaman, yeah. Uh, it sucks when you get hit with that Boundless, and it kind of sucks when you draw it. Really depends. You have a lot of uh, Peacekeepers in this deck, at least. But uh, yeah, Doom Shaman's the core of the deck. Doom Shaman makes Super Vicey Bell. Without Doom Shaman, there is no Super Vicey Bell, so uh, definitely you gotta run that Doom Shaman. Doom Shaman's a great effect. He's a Gemini, which uh, some people don't get. He's actually a Gemini, so he's a normal monster while in the graveyard or while facing on the field. You use your normal summon. Um, you don't have to tribute again, even though he's level 6, to gain his effect. And the effect is you can go ahead and summon, I believe it's what, a, uh, it's a Fiend? Oh, it's just a Fiend. I thought it was another type. Nope. You can uh, special summon one Fiend type monster from your hand or from either player's graveyard. And uh, when this card is sent from, uh, uh, when this card is removed from the field, destroy all Fiend monsters for summon by this effect. So, uh, of course, you can go ahead and have Doom Shaman summon you Bell. Then during the end phase, Yubel's going to trigger off Doom Shaman. Doom Shaman's going to go off killing Yubel. Yubel, summon Terror. Or you can go ahead and summon this little guy, Tinker, and uh, go into some Synchro plays, which I'll go into. So yeah, Doom Shaman is uh, one of your key plays, one of the classic plays to uh, bring out Terror Incarnate. Uh, pretty much, as soon as Yubel came out, uh, Doom Shaman was shortly after, and Doom Shaman definitely helped you get into your higher forms of Yubel. So, yep, yep, the, the, the core of Super Life Yubel, Doom Shaman. Uh, three Dark Greffers, and of course three Armageddon Knights, all of your sending. Uh, you got the Peacekeeper here, Dark Greffers, because sometimes you will be drawing into them high-level darks that you really don't want in your hand, you want the graveyard, so it's nice to have Dark Greffers be able to be like, hey, you Doom Shaman? That's cool, bro. I'm just going to go ahead and use my effects, send Doom Shaman, and bam, send you Bell, or send Tinker. There you go, you're good. Uh, actually, in that case, you wouldn't actually, if you drew Doom Shaman and you drew Dark Greffers, you would not send you Bell or Tinker, and I would go into the reason why uh, in a sec. So, uh, let's go ahead and... Uh, discard send a dark and you can also special summon this card from your hand by discarding low fire or dark which is actually a lot more now since you're actually running Mally in this deck so you can go ahead and pitch special summon and then do plays like that which is also fun and I'm again like when he's just summoned he sends a dark you know he doesn't neg like a uh, dark refer but dark refer is still good he's a peacekeeper and he has higher stats than Armageddon Knight came out in the same pack but still the peacekeeper is a free bell uh one tinker tinker for the uh synchro play so you pretty much summon doom shaman use your normal summon for your you know, to gain its effect, it effects I'm gonna fiend from your hand or graveyard. So even if you draw you bell, it's fine because you can summon you bell from the hand or tinker. So summon tinker, six plus this level two tuner, synchro summon into all of these beautiful eights right here, which all have nice plays to do in this deck. Uh, Tinker's effect is actually pretty nice too. Uh, when it's sent to this to the graveyard, you look at the top card of your deck and put it to the top of the bottom. It's a mandatory effect, so it doesn't miss timing, which is always nice and. Uh, you, know, you can go ahead and see if you're actually going to draw into another revival card or what you're going to get. So, it's pretty good. Uh, we run two Summoner Monk, despite the fact that there's no Lalala -la Chain and that really sucks because that was one of the best plays. Just go Summoner Monk, pitch a spell, Summon on again, Knight, send something, go to Lalala Chain, send another thing. Uh, it helps with the consistency of bringing out that Dark Reffer. It really does. And as you can clearly see, there's a lot of spells in here. Spell count pretty high. So, it's nice to go ahead and keep your consistency up by just pitching a spell, summoning a, either a Dark Reffer who discard a Yubel or a Doom Shaman or just summon Armageddon Knight Contending. Uh, but we do have an XC monster that we go into besides the Lava Chain. Uh, just for more security play's sake, you know, it's not like we're going to go into our Castell for no reason. So, 
Yeah. And then we run a triple Destiny Hero Militia. So like I said, this deck revolves around Beatrice. Uh, it's not out here in the TCG yet, but when it comes out here, that will be some of my plays. Of course, Burning Abyss will get stronger, but it'll be nice. It's nice to know that this deck will get a little bit of something something too, because Beatrice is pretty much like a little level chain. So, Doom Shaman, level 6, Maui, level 6, so all you have to do is send Doom Shaman, revive it with the multiple revival cards that can touch Doom Shaman, and then just banish Maui, come to Maui, there's Beatrice right there. So, I'll go more into Beatrice when we actually look at her in the extra deck, but yep, that's the reason why Maui's in here, just for Beatrice. Uh, so, 16 monsters, not a lot, not too many, not too uh, less, but 16 is just the right amount for this particular deck. So, moving on to lots of spells. Of course, one Rota, because these two are warriors, need to grab them. Uh, one Foolish, of course, sent into Graveyard, Rejecki, uh, lots of destruction. Uh, sometimes this this deck can cramp up, like, any Yvel deck or any uh, Super Vice deck, if you know Super Vice Yvel deck really well. So, it's good to have all this destruction, not only to destroy Yvel, just in case, but also it's just Peacekeepers, just... You know, I didn't open up that well, and kept it a little slow. All right, throw the Regeki at you. You have to build up your resources again. Uh, plays like that. Uh, one Soul Charge, because Soul Charge is crazy. So you can't attack, but paying all the life points to get off some shenanigan plays is just crazy. It really is. So, uh, one Soul Charge. Uh, two Dark Holes, like I said, for peacekeeping, uh, just getting crappy hand, getting jumped, and also to destroy your bell. Uh, we debated on how many Twin Twisters, and we decided to go with three. Yep, we decided to go with three. Uh, not only does this deck really susceptible to back row, just gets wrecked with back row, but also, it's another Peacekeeper card, you know? There's been times and times again when you draw that Mali where you don't want it, you draw a Doom Shaman, you draw a Foamy Belt, sure, I'd be glad to go ahead and pitch, uh, one of those cards to go ahead and Twin Twist you. Why not? You know, I want them in the graveyard anyway, so, uh, first we were playing at two, and we were just like, you know, let's crank this up to three, and it's just been working fantastically, so no complaints about going with all-in three Twin Twisters, especially in a deck that wants to discard and put the cards in the hand to the graveyard. Uh, then, of course, we run triple single memories, we probably normal monsters, destroyed during end phase, probably like, what, 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 normal monster, there's no normal monster, Doom Shaman's a Gemini, and that's the only reason why this deck works out so well, is because Doom Shaman is a Gemini. Uh, you know, maybe with that new Dark Magician support, you can go ahead and give, uh, uh, Dark Magician and Silver's Cry, you know, to survive a normal spell caster from your graveyard. I'm not saying that uh, it wouldn't help this deck, <laughs> but it would help this deck if you if, if Dark Magician gets Silver Cry. Now since Dark Magician actually getting some new support, maybe you can give him something like that. Mm -hmm. Maybe, maybe, maybe. All right, uh, but yeah, Zunga Memories. Uh, then of course Triple Silent Doom, pretty much the same thing. Uh, you're targeting all monsters, special summon defense mode, can't attack, but who cares? Because I'm either going to summon you Bell and that's going to summon Terror, so I'm not really planning on attacking anyway. Or I'm going to summon Tinker and Synchro. Then say the Synchro monster can't attack, so yep, Triple Silent Doom. Uh, we only go two supervised. Despite being supervised the Bell, uh, we've been running three forever. It clogs, it really does. Um, at first I was like, oh, go full on supervised, get as much as possible, win and, uh, you know, pull out the plays, but when you're not ready, and you're not set up, and you draw multiple supervises, it sucks ass, and it really does clog. So we decided to go ahead and drop it down two, and play testing it. We've always been considering it back in the head, should we up this back up to three, but it's been working just fine at two. If you guys want to go ahead and play three, go ahead, but it's just been so cloggy at three. And sometimes this deck gets set up nice, but sometimes it doesn't, and, you know, I don't mind taking it slow in one sinker at a time than, you know, uh, drawing a whole bunch of these overextending. Like, if you get open up with triple super vice and you, you know, wipe the back row of twin twisters and go in the hand with Doom Shaman, that's game. That's, that's game. But, uh, you know, if you don't have it and you're not ready, then it's not the greatest card to draw. So, uh, 17 spells. Not bad. Not bad. Around well, the traps, uh, as you can clearly see, uh, we cut down the revival too much because it was also getting a little bit cloggy. Uh, we were trying to find a balance between sending and revival, and that was the difficult thing with the supervised that it does so many things that you need a nice combination of sending and revival. And while these cards are much more important, the, uh, the Swing of Memories and the Sound of Doom, because uh, of course, like I said, Doom Shaman is the core of this deck, and they're much faster. Because keep in mind, you draw a trap card, you got to set a trap card, you got to wait to play a whole turn of this. You literally just top deck him Swing of Memories, Swing of Memories, some Doom Shaman, Doom Shaman, some Tinker, bam, there's a there's a Synchro Monster right there, or there's Turn Cunning right there. Like, these cards are a little bit slower, but they also work with, of course, Yvel. Of course, if you need to, and still only desperate measures, you can go ahead and Twin Twister, pop your own revival card, and then, you know, Yvel, Summon Terror, if you need to. Or, uh, you know, summon one of these guys back. You know, there's been a handful of times where I'm like, summon Armageddon Knight, send, they kill Armageddon Knight, and I'm like, alright, well, call the Haunted Oasis, some back that same Armageddon Knight, send another monster, so that's another thing you can do. Uh, I said two Lemon Reverse, because Lemon Reverse can literally only summon only a handful of monsters. Uh, summon Stinker, so you can do that play. Summon Dubell, of course, probably the best uh, trap card for Dubell. Uh, can summon Summoner Monk back, so you summon Dex, Summoner Monk, pitch another spell, and 
uh, summon another local monster, and it can also summon Maui. Even though Maui can summon another Maui from the deck, you can also use this to summon a Maui and uh, go into a, another rank a six play. That I'll go into detail. It's not just features; it's one more. But yeah, uh, like I said, uh, Oasis called Haunted. They get a little bit cloggy, so it's nice to have just two of each. Just two of each, and then of course Torrential Tribute, uh, more clearing, field clearing, and uh, Ubel checking. So. Uh, I definitely think on paper this is the definitive version of Super Vice Bell. It's taken forever multiple, multiple versions. I, I would say that this is either version 4 or 5 of Super Vice Bell, and I think this is the definitive version. It just sucks that I can't make it in real life anytime soon, but it's nice to uh, see it in a uh, practical form. And like I said, we're going to be playing, playing it in this upcoming live stream uh, this upcoming Saturday, so, uh, if you guys can be there, and you guys have any suggestions, we can go ahead and tweak it, and, you know, if we have to run it back with that profile, and, uh, fix it up, but, I think this is the defender version, so let's go over the extra deck, no side deck, because, why, I mean, it's not a competitive deck, uh, two bills, uh, I think two is the right amount, I don't need three, but one is too little, so, two, uh, the bills has just, awesome synergy with Terra Incarnate. It used to be a starter spark, but as soon as Bills came out and this course Dark Tuner, best Tinker right there, let's go Bills. Uh, can't be short of by card effect, 3000 beater, so you don't even get to short that Terra. White, just, it's just awesome. Uh, one Void Arker, sometimes I don't have any cards on hand, so it's nice to be able to have like a little mini Sheen or a bigger Sheen actually, 3000 attack, 3000 defense as well. Uh, just being like, hey, I have no cards in my hand, during the first turn I can negate a spell or trap, no. uh, spell speed 1, spell speed 2, negate and destroy it, not bad. Uh, two Scrap Dragon, the reason why we go with two is because uh, I can pull out multiple Synchros really fast. Uh, it's a nice amount. Uh, there's been times where I summon one build, have two Scrap Dragons, and both Scrap Dragons target the build, target two of my opponent's cards, pop, pop. Uh, free pops is always nice. And of course, Scrap, target Terra Incarnate, pop Terra Incarnate, Ultimate Nightmare. Classic play. Classic play. Uh, even back when Scrap Dragon was super expensive, that play was a classic in, uh, in Super Vice Evel and just Evel decks in general, whoever can syncate. Uh, then we run our Scar Right to uh, bust out that uh, Sync 8 that can clear up the field if need be. We don't really don't need a Hot Red Nelson Scar Right is here, so yeah, but it got it's expensive. Uh, that one Crimson Blader, sometimes you just give them duels where all you need to do is make a Crimson Blader to win it, so there you go. You know, Crimson Blader for the win. Uh, I'll go over him in a sec. Uh, this is our Sync. Uh, six. It's not out yet in TCG, but I actually prefer this card over Goyo Guardian. I know it's not as strong, but I just love that first effect. Like, it's the first effect, it just makes it just mwah. Uh, when this card is Synchro Summon, you can draw a card. Simple as that. Uh, usually you neg on Synchro Summon. I'm using, uh, it's not very often in the deck that I sync uh, six. It would have to be one of my level four monsters, so uh, Summoner Monk or Dark Refer or I'm again Knight with Tinker. It doesn't happen that often, but when it does, it does. And instead of going to Goyo Garden, which may be a nice 28B that takes monsters, I'd rather just go into Sonic's Charge Warrior and draw a card. It sucks that uh, Tinker is mandatory, so it would go Tinker Effect, Chains, uh, well, no, no, yeah, yeah, no, because Tinker would have to go first, because Tinker is mandatory. So, it sucks that it goes that order. So, you would go Tinker... No, no, you would go uh, Tinker as Chain Link 1, because it's mandatory. Then, Stardust Warrior Charge. So, uh, you would go ahead and draw a card, and then look with Tinker. Which sucks. It, really, it would be nice if you get to go ahead and go, Alright, well, Tinker Effect, let me see if I want this top card, yes or no. Then, yes, put it on top and draw it with Charge, but it doesn't work like that. So, you draw with Charge, then you look with Tinker. But, I mean... Instead of going using two monsters into one monster, I use two monsters into one monster and then I draw a card. So, uh, despite not going to six, uh, sync six that often, it's nice to go ahead and draw a card. And being able to attack all special special monsters with my phone controls uh, once each is nice too, even though he's only 2,000 beer. And then, of course, uh, because we have a level six guy and we level f and we uh, synchro this level six with a another uh, tuner, we get to uh, pull off the powerful crystal meth synchro dragon. So. That's a play that you can do with the deck. It doesn't happen often. Like, you can just go ahead and have Armageddon Knight. Have, like, Armageddon Knight or Dark Raffer, right? Summon Tinker. Sink. Bam. Draw a card. You use one of your rival cards. Card Haunted Wastes. Limitverse. Whatever. Summon back Tinker. Bam. There's Crystal Math right there. So, of course, you guys already know what Crystal Math does. He puts in that work. So, it's not a play that's done often. And Soul Charge helps with that play as well. But it's something you can do. Uh, then we have literally the only reason why the deck exists right now, Beatrice the Eternal Lady. Uh, it's made with two level 6 uh, monsters, but you can also slap it on top of a Burning Abyss 6 monster by Pigeon Burning Abyss. You're not going to be doing that. Of course, you're going to actually be making it the proper way, two level 6 monsters. And uh, this, this effect right here. Uh, 
Once per turn, during either player's turn, attempt to turn this card with summon this way, and besides specifying the special summon way on, on a brand of seed. But if you summon it properly with two level 6, you don't have to worry about that. You can attach the material from this card, send one card from your deck to your graveyard. Simple as that. So, send Doom Shaman, revive Doom Shaman with the mini revival cards. I think this deck would work a little bit better if it had one more a revival spell card, but it's, it's just swinging in Silent Doom, so yeah. Uh, summon Doom Shaman. I have Melee in the graveyard, banish Melee, summon a Melee, banish Beatrice. Beatrice will send one card from your deck to, to deck to the graveyard during your turn. So send you Bell, send Tinker, and then one during your opponent's turn too. So it's even better than uh, Lala Chain in that sense because it can send twice. So that's really nice to be able to send both of them. And then uh, stats are good 2500 attack, 2800 defense. Stats are just fine. And one more effect, just to make it even just show that it's just so much better than Lalo Chain. And while it would be nice if I did have a Lalo Chain in here, it's okay because Beatrice just got my back. If this card in your position is destroyed by your opponent's card, either by Battle by Card Effect, Intense Bear, or Special Summon, one Burning Abyss monster from your extract, ignoring summoning condition, what can I summon? Oh yeah, this uh, nice Dante Pilgrim of the Burning Abyss. Uh, I ignore summoning conditions, and uh, pretty much, uh, I'm not going to use that first effect. <laughs> I don't have any Burning Abyss cards, but... Uh, he can't not be targeted, just cannot be targeted by your opponent's card effects. 28 meter, nice. And uh, this card is destroy destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard. I can go ahead and. Or by card effect, yeah. Or if this card is sent to the graveyard by card effect, you can send one random card from your opponent's hand to the graveyard. It's not the great burning of its effect, but a 28 meter that can't be targeted, and I just get it just because I'm running Beatrice, why not? Uh, let me run one Photon Strike Bouncer. Uh, he is the other rank 6 I decided to go with. Because at times, especially with Super Vice, uh, you know, I'll go ahead and go like, you know, summon Doom Shaman, equip it Super Vice, Super Vice, summon Tinker, Sync, Super Vice will summon me back, uh, uh, a Tink, you know, a normal monster, summon back Doom Shaman, but I've uh, already used my normal summon this turn. Alright, well, if it's still in there, uh, I can just go ahead and go, well, my other Mali effect, because I've only used one Mali effect to make the Beatrice, Mali, Banish Mali, summon the Mali, and then, damn, there's four times Strike Bouncer right there. Uh, there's also times where you summon Doom Shaman and they like negate Doom Shaman's effect, they'll either like Fiendish Chain him or Effect Rail and you're just like, well crap, you know, I'm gonna either lose my Doom Shaman because of Swing or it's just gonna be stuck there in defense position because of Silent Doom. Well, once again, Banish Mally, summon Mally, go into that Photon Strike Bouncer. 20, uh, 2700 monster that during either player's turn can uh, detect and see material and negate a monster effect with 1000 to your opponent. Not bad, not bad. So I had to go with the Solar M7 in my personal opinion. Then we have Emerald, not only. Uh, to recycle if need be, even though you generally don't do that, you generally do it for the second effect. Uh, you can target one non-effect monster in your graveyard special summon it, and yes, Doom Shaman counts as a non-effect monster, it counts as a normal, normal monster. You think he's like, no, 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 nope, he's a normal monster, so you can go ahead and summon Daguz or Emerald, Emerald effect, summon back Doom Shaman, and uh, do all your plays off of that. Uh, one Castell, because there's level 4s in here, and if it was running level 4s, you run Castell, some of that. Uh, one giant hand is getting reprinted, of course. That's nice, so I won't have to be spending hundreds and hundreds and thousands of dollars for a giant hand. But, uh, giant hand, it's a peacekeeper play. Like I said, with Lala Chain Ban, Summoner Monk, what are you gonna go into? Uh, you could go ahead and go Summoner Monk, you know, Summon Armageddon, and I send Doom Shaman, XC, and the Emerald, Summon Doom Shaman, but if the Mali play is not set up, then that's not the most optimal play. Like, if you just open up fantastically and you just, like, get Doom Shaman or Mali, you go Summon Monk, Pitch, Summon Dark Rapper, Dark Rapper, Pitch, Doom, uh, Mali or Doom Shaman, send the opposite, go into Emerald, Summon back Doom Shaman, Mali effect, Banish, Summon Mali, go into Beatrice, and yeah, you can, but there's sometimes you just don't open up that well. So, instead of just going into Dagrusum or just to Summon Doom Shaman and having to sit there doing nothing or going to Castell for no reason, why don't you just go into Giant Hand, who kind of works like a, a fiendish chain, so uh, have your opponent be aware of the Giant Hand that you just happen to pull off, just because it's like, hey, summon a monk, pitch, all I want is Ascending, really, and then go into Giant Hand, because why not, uh, and have and fiendish chain your opponent's monster with the 2000 beater, Giant Hand, why not, and then of course Dante, because there's Beatrice. So there we go, there's the definitive version of Super Vice, uh, Revised, you can clearly see that name. This is not supervised, this is super revised. It's, it's play on words, you get, you get it. But uh, we're going to be playing this in the live stream this upcoming Saturday. I'm going to have Mao join me, uh, the person who has actually been taking the time to work on this deck. Like that man, despite uh, getting nothing in return, and, and uh, it's not like I'm paying him, he actually took the time, played the deck, and, and play tested over and over and over again. And we went back and forth, making suggestions, making corrections, making fixes, and I'm really appreciative that he actually uh, took the time to help me with this deck. 
So he'll be back on uh, Saturday, hopefully. And uh, we'll be playing Desmond deck along with other uh, revised versions of some previous decks that have been on Vitamin Wine in the past, uh, at least back since 2014. So thank you guys for watching, thank you guys for all the support, I have timed out, so I guess it's definitely time to wrap up this video. Uh, sorry I'm so long with these deck profiles, just wanted to go into details and make sure that everything is there, you guys know all the plays, we'll be playtesting it this Saturday in the live stream, and yeah, thanks for watching.